Today, the two things that sit on my nightstand in my bedroom that have transformed my life and my world in the last 30 days. Michael McLean, noblebook.com, badassletter.com. The toughest advice for the toughest businessmen without the whiskey chaser. Men like you. So glorious, glorious August morning here. 15,000 steps. Heading back to the lake house. Uh, Going to be taking my daughter Emery to, uh, to camp today. And uh, then uh, we have a wedding coming up this Friday for the first time in years and years and years. My niece is getting married and my daughter Emery has the, uh, the honor of being the flower girl, which is something we never thought would happen just because of the different ages. She's much younger than her cousins. And lo and behold, uh, the sun shines on her and she was asked uh, a few months ago, maybe six months ago, if she would be the flower girl in my niece's wedding this Friday. And of course, Emery is very, very excited about this once in a lifetime opportunity. We're heading to the uh, bridal party rehearsal tonight and private dinner. Uh, Kristen and I have to drive her, but uh, she's going to be, they're including her in everything. Uh, so she's pretty proud and pretty excited about uh, this first time experience being in a wedding. So uh, it's, uh, it's a, uh, a blessed time for our family uh, when you see two people uh, getting married, young couples starting their, uh, their life together, buying a, their first home. Uh, they're both professionals. He's a tradesman and uh, she is a, uh, a nurse and uh, they're uh, starting their adult journey together. So I was had the pleasure of being on the great Bill Gauze video interview, podcast, webinar, whatever you want to call it, yesterday. And one of the questions that Billy Rush Limbaugh asked me was, what is on my nightstand? Which I thought was a great NLP pattern interrupt. I mean, the whole, he did a really great job with these questions that he used. He didn't ask any of the cliche questions you usually hear on a marketing and business interview. He was like, you know, your five favorite songs. Uh, you know, what would you do in this situation? What has your mom taught you? What has your dad taught you? What's the number one piece of advice you'd share? What's the number one piece of advice that was so bad that you would warn other people? That kind of stuff. I will put the replay in the PS in this email. So if you check at the bottom of this email, there's Cliffy lying on the road back there, scratching his back. Um, I, I'll put it in the email. You can watch that. It's about 90 minutes. It's one of the most enjoyable interviews I've ever had. And if you know Bill at all, it's lots of fun. If you're, uh, I'll try to put the link here on YouTube if you're watching it here. Remember to subscribe to my channel, please. I'm over a thousand subscribers on my Michael McLean Badass CEO uh, channel. And uh, when I joined this platform four months ago. So we're doing okay with these morning adventure walks around the lake with my with my buddy Cliffy and uh, my broken iPhone 7. So over a thousand subscribers and I'd love you to join if you haven't. So the question was, what do you have on your nightstand? And my answer is I have two things that I recently put on my nightstand that have really had a positive impact uh, in my world. Number one is a, is a small, uh, medium sized to small black leather, black journal. There's nothing in it, just white pages. 
And it's not my regular journal that I carry with me. It's a separate journal that I purchased a month ago. And it's all blank pages. There's nothing in it but my writing. And I have a blue pen. So on my nightstand, I have this little black journal and I have a, my pen. And every morning after prayer, I write my one goal, or if I'm really feeling ambitious this month, my two goals. And I write them as if. That's the secret, writing your goals. Talking about them isn't good enough. Putting them up where you can see them isn't good enough. You need to write your goals physically with pen and paper two times per day. So as soon as I'm done prayer and I splash some water on my face and I brush my teeth, I sit down on the side of the bed and I literally take one minute and I open up this journal, which is right there with a pen. I don't have to look for anything. And I write out my one or two goals as if they've already happened. That's the secret. So I write out, I earn $300,000 per month. I positive, positively impact 5,000 businessmen per month. So I write it as if, as if I'm already achieving that. I earn $300,000 per month. I positively impact the lives of 5,000 businessmen per month. So I'm not there yet, but I'm a lot closer than you'd think. So every day I write that, my subconscious, my conscious, and then I do the same thing at night. Just before I get into bed and do gratitude with my wife, Krista, I just take another 60 seconds, 60 seconds, and I open up this journal that's sitting on my, my nightstand, my, my table beside my bed, and I write out those two goals again. No more than two goals. If you have three goals or you have 10 goals, you just have a list. Those are goals. Great people set one goal at a time. And uh, you know, it usually takes a month to make a goal into a reality. That's 12 major goals in a year. That's massive. That's transforming your world. If you can do one goal a month, 12 over the year for 12 times, 12 months, that's 12 major changes in your life. If those are, po are, th if those are negative behaviors, those goals, and you turn them into a positive, that's 12 negative things that weren't serving you in a year that you've changed into something positive. That's how you transform your life. One goal at a time. Write it down every morning, write it down every night. So that's what's on my bed stand. The second thing I shared that's on my bed stand is a book that I've mentioned a couple times and it's called The Secret to Success. The Secret to Success is There's No Secret. Okay, I think that's the title. Um, I'll post a link here in the email, but it's a book that I mentioned a couple of times before that uh, my friend and badass uh, world builder, Jeff Dean, uh, set gave, I guess he gave it to me to, to read to Emery. And it's literally 300 stories. They're about a page long of all these super achieving badass titans in history men and women who against all odds that's what this book is about it's about grit and perseverance uh and every one of them's a little tiny short story everybody from colonel sanders to uh, henry ford um to all the presidents that we never thought would be elected and re-elected all the inventors thomas edison all of the great entrepreneurial badasses in history and every night whether Krista's putting Emery to bed or I am we do every second night um, we let Emery pick one of these stories and she loves it like she uh, uh, she grabs uh, the book and she grabs like we, we read about Colonel Sanders the other night and how he, uh, he, he was in his 60s, his mid 60s, when he was still trying to sell the Colonel Sanders franchise uh, to people. A thousand rejections, a thousand rejections in his 60s. Everybody saying, no, we don't want this chicken recipe. It's a dumb idea. And the guy wouldn't stop coming. He just would not stop 
coming. And they're all like that. We read, uh, we read stuff, you know, about, um, you know, Thomas Edison, just a thousand inventions that were fail massive failures. Um, you know, Steve, uh, Steve Jobs, I mean, the real, you know, just one failure after another, Walt, Walt Disney, um, this book is full of absolute badass entrepreneurs who came over the most incredible odds. So, you know, I want my daughter to have that in her mind. It's been good for me, but it's been good for her as well. Every night that the impossible is possible with grit and persistence. I mean, these guys weren't trying to do something that was out of their their talent wheelhouse. They weren't trying to hit a golf ball 400 yards like, like Woods. They weren't trying to throw a football like Tom Brady, but they knew that what was possible in their um, area of genius, and they just wouldn't relent. They just wouldn't relent. And that Colonel Sanders, you know, KFC story was just so inspiring. And Emery loves that. She's like, we got to go there and eat now. And I'm like, yes, we do. Once a year, once a year, the family uh, reunion. I, Yours Relentless brings the bucket of chicken. It's the chicken at, at our family cookout that nobody eats, right? Oh, Michael, I can't believe you. I've been bringing this bu bucket of chicken since I was a bachelor. And uh, it's so funny because I show up with this bucket of chicken all the time, even though now I'm not a bachelor. And uh, I put it on the picnic table and oh, Michael, geez, that stuff. Uh, boy, oh boy, I never go there. I never eat that stuff. And by the time I get my plate and put a few salads and, and whatever on my plate, usually the bucket of chicken is empty. So it just, that's human behavior. That's a lesson in human behavior right there. Don't go ever on what people say. That's why focus groups don't work. That's why polls are bullshit, is don't listen to what people say. Watch what people do. And there you'll find the truth whenever you watch what your clients do, watch what your prospects do, watch what your associates do. And uh, you'll see the the God the God's honest truth there. So those are the two things that are on my nightstand, the little journal with a pen, and this book. And that goes back to willpower not working. Willpower does not work. Environment works. So I wasn't writing out my goals twice a day. And a lot of my world builders have struggled with this. And instead of lugging up that journal every night and every morning, I wasn't doing it, right? I was leaving it down on the kitchen table. I bought this little journal and it's now, it's only for this. And I bought this pen and it's only for that. And you know what? I'm like 32 and 0. I'm 32 and 0. 32 days in a row where I've opened my eyes and written out my one or two goals. And I'm 32 and 0 at night writing out my goals just before I get to bed. And the other thing I do in that journal is I'll write down two or things, two, three, four things that I'm really grateful for. I could write down, it's different every day. I'm, I'm grateful I have a truck to drive. Um, I'm grateful I have a thousand viewers on YouTube. I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have food in my fridge. I'm grateful that I have fresh water to drink. Uh, I'm grateful that Krista has a, has a beautiful garden out here that we eat out of in the summer. Fresh fruits and vegetables, little things like that. And I just add those in. There is no rules for this journal. And then at night, I have the book sitting there as well. So I can't forget, right? I can't misbehave. I can't, I can't forget. And I grab this book and Emery and I are reading there by, by the bed. And it's just the first thing we do is read that two minute story about one of these relentless, absolutely relentless um, entrepreneurs that, that made, you know, they made the world, they were, they're game changers, they're world builders. So those are the two things that are on my nightstand. But um, if you're struggling with anything in your world and you're having a hard time doing it, it's like Bill Goss said yesterday, he said he didn't consistently walk every day. He's put together something like, I don't know, five or six straight months. He's never missed a single day of daily walking. And before that, he wasn't able to string together seven days. And what was the one thing he changed? He changed his environment. He, he, he doesn't depend on willpower. So he started putting his shorts and his t-shirt and his socks and his hat, his ball cap beside his bed. So he gets up in the morning, everything's there and his shoes are downstairs. His vitamins are set out. His, his glass of water is already poured. So he's all, it's like robotic. It's like brushing your teeth. It's just automatic. You get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, right? So when you control your environment, I call it brushing your teeth. 
it's like you just don't even think about it. It happens every day. So when Bill gets up now, the clothes he put on, are their hose are his walking clothes. He puts on his socks. He puts on his ball cap. He puts on his shoes. He chugs his glass of water and he's gone. And he's put together something like six or seven straight months. He never has missed a day. And that's the same with that journal on my nightstand. If you want, like I'm telling you right now, Man, I'll tell you, if you, one of the things, like if I could recommend, you know, the top, you know, five top things to change your life and transform your world, writing your goals out twice a day is almost at the top of that list. I can't think of anything more powerful mentally. So whatever it is, you have one or two goals maximum. If you write those in paper, on paper and in ink every single morning, it takes you 30, 60 seconds, whatever, a minute and you do it again at night and then your subconscious works on it, you, you have no idea which, how you're going to try. I'll tell you right now, those, those, those goals will happen. Those goals will happen. You write them out twice a day, they'll happen. So buy a little journal, put it beside your nightstand, get a pen, don't be looking for a pen, and put it there. And every single night before you close your eyes, you know, you see your gratitude and all that stuff, but write out your one goal or write out your two goals, no more than that. And then when you wake up in the morning, write out your one goal, write out your two goals, no more than that, and write them as if you've already achieved them. You've already achieved them. And then I always like a great book beside my bed. We don't have any technology in our bedroom. If you have a TV in your room, tear that fucking thing off the wall. TVs do not belong in your bed. They're not congruent with good sleep. So make sure that that's gone. There shouldn't be any iPads. There shouldn't be any iPhones. There shouldn't be any technology in your uh, bedroom. So that's why I like a hard copy book beside my bed. I don't read in bed, but that with my daughter going to sleep at night and just before, that's that's been great. So that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget and that I read that every night with Emery. Well, guess how I don't forget? It's on the nightstand. And then when I'm done reading it to her, I put it back on the nightstand. When Krista reads to her, we put it back on the nightstand. And it's there. We're controlling our environment. We're not depending on willpower that doesn't work. So there's two things that uh, that I hope you find helpful. Man, oh man, you write out your goals type twice a day and your life will be completely transformed. It's just, it's one of the most powerful principles and concepts I've ever been taught. So talking about uh, powerful concepts remember the link for that bill uh, got interview is below also my uh, my five star fifty thousand dollar champions mastermind uh, in immigration is closing very shortly the end of this month if you want one of the 15 spots for the next year in my five star champions mastermind go to badass champion the link is below dot com and apply there's five simple questions, uh, then you and I will get on the phone call in a week and we'll talk about whether I'm the right coach, I'm probably not, or whether you're the right uh, person for this program, maybe you're not. Uh, and I'm just telling you right now, uh, you give me, you invest 50,000 K with me and over the next 12 months with, with, with weekly coaching, with accountability, with your newfound associate, you're joined at the hip with me for 12 months. You're joined at the hip with 15 Navy SEAL marketers, businessmen, husbands, fathers. Um, you know, it's, it's you, you give me 50K and I'm going to give you the tools to 10X your life, to 10X your income, 10X your wealth, 10X your marketing, 10X your marriage, 10X your, your health, your relationship with your kids, 10X your time management. To, you know, to, that's a huge one right there. So it's not about how much this costs or doesn't cost. It's like the right question is, how much can I make from this this investment? Well, I'm telling you right now, you put in the work and you're going to 10x every area of your life, every area of your life. And you're going to be associated with the best. So you're going to be joined at the hip. So you're not going to, it's going to be impossible for you not to achieve your goals. It's going to be impossible for you to misbehave because once again, what works? Environment. What's a mastermind? Environment. What's willpower? Willpower is, you know, watching a video. Willpower is reading a book. Willpower is listening to a podcast. But immersion, immersion into environment that you cannot fail, 
you'd have to work, you'd have to work at failing, but you can't stay the same. I'm going to pressure you. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to inspire you. I'm going to motivate you to 10x every area of your life. And if you don't 10x every area in your world, if you don't build your 10x kingdom, you won't be invited back the next year. That's the accountability all my guys have. So there's a, a handful of spots left. Go to badasschampion.com and apply. And uh, you and I will get on the phone and decide whether it's a good fit or not. And I'm good either way. It doesn't make any difference to me. Like I said, it's not going to change my life. I'm going to I'm going to be in Naples for the two events, live events anyway. So uh, that doesn't matter. So there's uh, there's um, there's the link below at uh, badasschampion.com. So that's it. That's the two things that are on uh, my nightstand. I hope you can take that message and control your environment. Remember to hug and uh, hu to hug your wife and your kids uh, tonight and tell them that uh, how much they mean to you and how much you love them. That is the number one thing we need to be doing every day when we're building our world. Until tomorrow, two words that change my life, two words that will certainly change yours. Be relentless.